Hey, what's going on, family? It's Mill Jackson, back with another video. Talking about this barber game. So, in this video, we're gonna talk about how much should you charge for a haircut? How much should you charge for a haircut, fam? Now, clients should look at it from a perspective of how much is a haircut really worth? Now, in my opinion, haircuts are priceless. Many clients will tell you that themselves that haircuts are priceless. A great, man, you can't put a, a price on a great haircut. Like in this, in this picture right here, Andrew could have, he could have had a nice clean haircut. He, he, he just, he just lucky he had a nice little curl pattern going on in, in, the, in the front. But his ears, man, he could have got cleaned up around his ears. Man, them sides need to be brought down. Yeah, he needs to be blended right on the sides of his head. But and the eyebrows need to be cut down. But yeah, twenty bucks, right? Now nah, I'm saying a haircut should be at least 20 bucks, at least. I'm saying 25 bucks. You expect an artist to perform a creative work of art on your head for less than 20 bucks. I mean, come on now. Let's be fair about it. 20, 20, 25 bucks is not a lot. If you think about it, listen. Okay, let's say you go, you go out to eat. I, I got Applebee's menu pulled up right here. Okay, I know you don't like Applebee's, but, but just check it out. Applebee's is good. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Especially the classic combo. Now look, you go get this classic combo right here. So we're talking 15 bucks plus tax. I always exaggerate the numbers a little bit. Okay, for you sticklers, $14.49. Okay. Now you you go out on a date. Let's just say it's a date. So we'll double that. So we're talking 30 bucks or $29.98 for you sticklers. That's 30 bucks on a meal, right? And guess what happens? After you enjoy that good Applebee's meal, Yeah. Got the little tummy. It's time to go move them bowels, right? Yeah. Got that good Applebee's in you. It's time to go get it in, right? It's time to go move these right here. All right, after you move them, after that Applebee's go all, go all around through here, right through this, this uh, this white water rafting, you know, you come all the way through. That's where your Applebee's end up. That night, if not the next night, right? But look what you paid for that classic combo. Yeah, it was good though. You needed that. You had to power yourself. You had to energize yourself, right? But you don't want to get your barber one of these. 
Not only do you not want to give your barber one of these, you don't want to give them a five with that. And let's just go to, you know, at Applebee's, you know what you're going to do, right? You're going to tip. So, you don't even want to tip your barber each and every time you go. But every time you go to Applebee's, you make sure that you tip, don't you? Especially if you want to impress your date, man. Tell me you don't. Tell me you don't, man. Oh, okay. So you wanted them. So. You don't date, huh? You don't go out on date night, huh? Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna tell me this ain't you, huh? Huh? You don't do that, huh? Nah? They ain't trying to do that, huh? So. You, you don't like looking like this, huh, when you go on that. If it wasn't for this, guess what? None of this would be happening, right? Huh? Huh? How much did this cost, huh? Yeah, he he need to come get get right. Look at y'all, no, come on. But I'm just saying, listen. So we're going to go back to this tip that you're giving out at your date night, right? You're going to say, I didn't tip at the movies. Okay, sure you didn't, but you paid a lot. You paid more than, i tell you what you did at the movies. You paid more than this guy right here. Paid more than Unk right there. <laughs> okay, so I told you it's 25 bucks. At least you should be paying. And you, and you a cheapy. But you're not giving, you give it 20%. See, that's what you're gonna do, right? So, this is what we talking about right here. You don't even wanna pay that, but guess what you pay for two of these? And your haircut lasted a week. Okay, you didn't, you don't want that? Okay, let's get you a steak at Applebee's, all right? We We're gonna get you the eight ounce, all right? Cause you eat good in the neighborhood, right? So, you just want the grill, she's gonna get the grilled salmon, okay. Okay, so, so we're at 30. Let's go back here. And we're just gonna go back here right quick. I, I'm, I'm gonna show you how you are. So, you had drinks, so you paid 42 bucks at your Applebee's day, right? Oh, you did. You a big spender, so you gave a twenty percent tip uh, every time. So you spent fifty bucks, and guess what y'all doing after that later on? Her, her and that grilled salmon, right? But it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. All right, let's get away from that. All right, I'm just okay. Now let's go go to check out even gas. All right, just let's say stuff you need. Right, he's looking good with that haircut on that day. Gas prices just to fill up your tank. We're talking thirty bucks. We're talking forty bucks with the good stuff. So we're talking forty bucks to fill up your tank, right? So this is what you wanna, this is what you wanna get your barber. To play in your hair, sweep up your follicles, consult you about your hair conditions, uh, give you ideas and tips, and basically train you how to really take care of yourself. I think we need to reevaluate what we do in our hair, folks. Haircuts are no longer, <laughs> no longer just 20 bucks. It's at least 25 bucks for a haircut. Don't disrespect your barber. <laughs> Neil Jackson, Magic Mill, in the mop. Yeah. <laughs> 